Hey guys, what's up? Ice Shatter here. On my Paladin code. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to get the Cenarian War Hippogriff. I did this so early because I was so excited to do the video. Um, what you first want to do is you want to get your unidentif un unidentified plant parts. What you want to do is just jog over, kill 10 of anything in this area. They have to be in Zanger Marsh. That's all you gotta remember. Anything from nether rays to the big bog lords to the little nether rays to the weird looking things. And they'll drop the unidentified plant parts. Sell for 7 silver and 50 copper a piece. What you want to do is you want to get 10. That's it. And you want to kill 10 things and run back over to the Cenarian Refuge. You'll spawn here if you go to the taxi outland location, Zangra Marsh. Once you get your 10 identified plant parts, you want to talk to this chick right here. Should be a night elf with white hair, and then there'll be that guy with tentacles on his face. You just want to take your quest, turn it in. Very nice quest for uh, leveling. What you want to do is you want to open it. Make sure you do not have auto loot on. If you don't have bag space like I do, you will not like it at all. And what you want to do is get the uncatalogued species. Close it. Take the quest. Turn it in. And you want to go get 10 more parts. Plant parts. And once you get 10 more, you should be able to get the Cenarian War Hippogriff. Once you jog over here, you want to talk to this guy right here. I mean, you can get head, shoulder enchants, level 70 stuff, but you can get it. And it will be right there. I can't get it yet because I didn't get 20. I got 10. And you can get this pretty cool stuff. I mean, you can get a level whatever stuff. 60, 70 stuff. You can get some pretty cool 70 looking gear. And that mace is pretty freaking cool looking. This is awesome because it increases your run speed slightly. So if you get that, plus if you get the helm and you get the run speed and you get the boots, you run like so fast it's not even funny. It's pretty cool. You can get a nice little healing mace. If you're a low level, you get a key. And that's like completely useless, but it just goes in your key bag right there. You can get a chest, arrows, cloth helm. What else I wanted to show you in this video is how to get po or poisons on a rogue. What you want to do, this is where I go for my rogue anyway. You want to go to the taxi and click Northrend. I don't know much about Horde. I honestly, if I have a Horde Rogue, I'd mail it from my alliance. I mean, some of you, I can understand you're not that lazy. I don't blame you. I mean, you are that lazy. You don't want to make a new account, all that stuff. Don't blame me at all. Do not. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Alright, so what you want to do is go to Northrend, and if you're Alliance, you will spawn here. Um, you just want to jog out. You'll see the big giant inn. It'll be called... Never mind, because signs don't work. And you'll just run around here. And there should be a gnome dancing. I can't see it, because I'm not a rogue, but... All rogues, you know, perfect and available. Um, like I've said a million times, um, Oh, like I said, comments, subscribes, messages, rates, anything, that'd be awesome, you know, give me suggestions, maybe you want to see some PvP from me, um, an instance run, on healing, how much it sucks, or DPS, I'll switch specs, I'll do anything, just 
give me a suggestion, leave me a comment, send me a message if you need help. Send me a message, I'll definitely be there. Um, besides that, that was it, and thanks for watching.